Hello, fellow Capricorns. It is time for your October reading for this current year, 2019. Oopie doopie. Alrighty, so, fellow Capricorns, welcome, newcomers and return visitors. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and, well, yeah, that's it. Jupiter's not included in these readings. So check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. It might work for you. It might not. You never know. Just boop your nose. Away we go, and away we go. That's right. Mind you, if you want a personal read, all the info is down in the description box below. Not all the way down, but it's in there somewhere. It's like after the music list, and that helps, but everything's there. Newcomers, first reading is on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. All right, Capricorns, let's see who's getting on your nerves this week. <laughs> Ooh, someone's at a crossroad, Caps. What is that about? And they feel like they're balancing themselves, trying to put on a performance. But it's like they're hanging off of it instead of being balanced on top of it. Like, they're doing it in this situation. But it's not working to the best of effects as that what they were hoping for, I think. What you're wanting and wishing for, there's a lack of clarity going on, Capricorn. Either that or this is a person you're dealing with. Cross watchers, switch where you need to, right? And the obstacle and challenge down below is to get out... Or someone's left out in the cold. You know, I was joking when I was talking about who was getting on our nerves, but, you know, whatever, I'll take it. It's whatever. I'm not, like, re-recording. <laughs> I'm already this far into it. Let's see. Fears and rejections becoming enmeshed with oneself. The sun could be Leo. It's reversed, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end. The full circle spectrum, the emperor. Aries is card. Yeah, Kevs, I don't know if this is you or not, but you guys haven't been showing up in my readings at all. It's always the people you're dealing with anymore. Which I guess is like a good enough read for anything, but still it's like, you know... I learn more about like y'all's enemies than anything. Which I guess is a good thing. Not taking a leap of faith, though. This person is not. Sacred Clown or the full traditionally reverse Capricorn. I wonder if this is going to be more Jake shit, but you never know. Maybe we'll luck out and it won't be, but I don't know. It's like... Someone's at a crossroads of feeling left out in the cold, but they're afraid of rejecting possibly an unhappy Leo or being in sync with themselves, right? They feel like they're hanging off the balance of something, but they might have the wrong idea. Possibly dealing with, that, with an emperor of some sort. There's some leap of faith not being taken, even though it's kind of time with the hanged man. Let's see, Capricorn. The Hanged Man. There's a door open and the family's getting ready to take off. Right? Going and like it's to embrace somebody. Doors wide open. People are getting ready to leave. Someone could run up very easily and embrace somebody they love. You might be having the door open as you're traveling and you might stumble across a mate. They even have a little kitty cat. That's kind of awesome. However, the situation is someone is hanging onto the pentacles rather than balancing themselves out in order to put on the performance of sorts. Uh, they took their pentacle and now they're walking away from the rest of them. After they drive some folk away. Throwing one down there, Capricorn, because I'm not sure I understand. We have the Three of Pentacles reverse. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Negative three plus four, or, or plus seven, is four of Pentacles, which is like security or some shit, right? And it's almost like someone took their pentacle and then shooed other people away from coming to get the rest, but they didn't pick the rest. Did they become a servant to somebody else? Like they drove all the work away. 
Something didn't work out for this person, Capricorns. I don't know if this is you. See, I hate this. A lot of the time, I don't know if I'm actually talking about you or someone else, Capricorns. Crosswatchers, you can easily tell me, but like, you know, sometimes it gets confusing. Because this is my sign. But I know a lot of my sign is not like my sign, so it's like, whatever. Or some shit. Anyway. What you're wanting and wishing for, Capricorn, or other person involved? Some lack of clarity. It was, if somebody needs to let go of their pentacles because death is a coming and you can't take it with ya. It just because it makes you secure does not mean it is tangible in the spiritual realm or whatnot. Um, ooh. Capricorn. You know, a lot of us have been acting like catalysts for other people's karma, right? Myself included. It seems like somebody is confused about the spiritual happening where they need to let go of what's been keeping them secure, but it's like they know that you're the one who set them up to get on this spiritual journey. They're looking at you like, I know you did this to me, motherfucker. How dare you come here acting like you're going to save me, right? It's almost like that. It's almost like they got to let something of themselves die, and they know it, but they don't understand why you put them on this mission. Like, you are a catalyst for this other person in order to start their fucking shit. Thing is, though, we got somebody feeling left out in the cold. They got to learn to be gentle with their strengths. And they need to learn how to, like, fill their own cup up and replenish themselves. King of Wands. Ew, Capricorns. This is the obstacle and challenge for this person. They feel up down in the cold. And they feel like they need to learn how to be way more gentle and take care of their own selves. But the thing is, like, they want some clarity where they don't have any. And it's almost like they don't understand why you put them on this path. I feel like if they understood Capricorns, they get it. But I don't think they understand you. Typical. Whatever. You know, that's just usually how it goes with us. The sun reverse. Fear or rejection could be a Leo, but someone doesn't feel happy or in sync with themselves. Um, they didn't fall for the temptations. Capricorn, that could have been you. But you're still not fucking happy. Um... And that's because you can't offer anything. Like, you're tempted? You are tempted like a motherfucker to just give them something. Say something. Help them. Even give that pentacle you have to the five of pentacles so they don't feel left out of the cold. So they feel like there's some balance here. I feel like you would give this person anything. And that's what's making you feel like, you know... You kind of have to ignore what's making you unhappy right now. Because you know it's a temptation. You know they're going to look at you like... They recognize that you're the one who did that to them, and you're not about to deal with someone who flubbed their own fish up after you put them on a path to help them out, you know? Even if you did something nasty to them, you know, um, you put them on a path that helped them out, you know? Everybody on this planet is here to teach us a lesson. You learn a different lesson from a different person, right? And I feel like this person's lesson was learning that you were there to put them somewhere. If not you, then it was the person doing that for you, Capricorn. But it happens. But you can't offer anything to him, and you know that, because it'll suck you right the fuck back in. You want to. You really want to, but you know this is a lesson that has to be learned by them. I feel like. That's really creepy. But whatever. Alright. How this shit starts, how it will end the Emperor. Person in control could be Aries, right? They need to go on a spiritual fucking journey. They need to start tripping balls, think their cane turns into a snake that tells them wise shit. They need a spiritual black dog, a German Shepherd particularly, because they make the cutest little noises and they love belly rubs. And they bite shit. They bite shit hard. Cops use them so they're pretty good, I guess. Um, so, yeah, someone needs to look really hard inside and decide, you know... Maybe it's not worth going into battle for because I might fuck it up. Like, this is him riding in to kill somebody, but he fucks it up and the guy takes him off of his horse. That's how I read it with this. And that might be something that someone isn't going to be able to live down for a really long fucking time. You might fight this battle in your head 
for a continuous amount of time, if you're not careful, Capricorn and Crosswatcher alike, whoever the fuck this is, I feel like this is somebody you dealt with Capricorn more than it is you, but it can be you. But it's like, it's like you have, it's like this person has to learn that like they have to come to you or some shit. Like they understand to come to you, but they gotta come correct because you will yank them off their fucking horse and stab them with their own fucking sword. Like they better know. Like they better not come in there with. They better come fucking correct. I'm telling. Someone better come correct to me. Like damn, I, I've already had enough shit go on in my life. I do not need more bullshit. All right, this lack of faith to take that leap. The fool or sacred clown reverse. They got. The lovers reverse. Everybody broke up and no one wants to take a step. You know, we got some shy folk in this, Capricorns. Someone knows that you were a lesson for them, too. Like, they may have taught you lessons, but you were a major lesson for them. And they know that you set them up for that. And they're pissed, I feel like. They're, I think they're really mad at what you did. And the fact that you're not offering anything to them, which is kind of fucked up. But, you know, now they're all insecure and shy and shit. You know, they don't want to let things go. But they, I think they're going to have to give up because, like, nothing's coming out for them the way they wanted it to. Nothing's come full circle with everything. They're really insecure about giving up this fucked up world. But they ain't gonna have a choice. Like, what, what do you expect to do, man? Like, the lesson's been learned. Like, that's hard to get away from, you know? You know, once your eyes are open, it's really hard to go back to fuck to sleep. But, that's what I got for your reading, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, because I feel like I need to say both of you. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. And once again, personal reads in the description box below for the information. I will see you guys later. Love your face. Kisses. I will see ya. Bye-bye.